this is David Ward with Blender Cookie, and uh, just going to show you something. Hopefully, it will be real quick, but uh, it might take just a minute. But uh, anyways, I'm going to show you how to apply a another rig to a rig that's already in place, as you can see. I'm going to apply that facial rig that I created in the facial rig tutorial to this rig that I created in the rigging tutorial. So, uh, just go to File, Append and find the facial rig or whatever rig you're wanting to uh, you know combine and um, uh, there's a few ways to do it but I always just go scene because that way I know I have everything I need and just uh, link to that scene just go there and let's clear out select everything clear out all the poses alt R clears rotation alt G clears location and now I want to go to object mode and I'm going to go back to object, make links, objects to scene, scene. And go ahead and delete that one. And now you can see it, it went ahead and put the, uh, the rig into the scene. So let's go ahead and grab it. Make sure you got the rig, the new rig grabbed. Excuse me. Let's scale it down. And I'm kind of lining it up with the, uh, the eyelids there. Okay, go to front view, make sure it's lined up horizontally. Pop into to wireframe so I can center it up perfectly, or as close to perfect as humanly possible. And uh, let's back into a uh, solid view. Now, um, out of edit mode, and let's go ahead and hide the mesh so it doesn't get in the way. And I want to grab the original rig and go into object mode there as well. I'm going to grab the new one, shift select the old one, and control J, and it's going to combine them together. It's going to join them together. So now, on a side view, let's go ahead and unhide Alt H. H hides, Alt H unhides, so we can see where we're at. And now let's go into edit mode and let's delete these bones that we don't need anymore. Just delete those. And let's grab the eyeball bone here, and let's line it up with the original eyeball bone. Right there. Uh, that's probably good. And let's pop back into object mode and go to pose mode. Let's grab the eyeball and go ahead and shift select the eyeball bone. Control P. Turn it to the bone. So now, there we go. Move the, uh, the look at thing there. Okay. Back into edit mode, let's go ahead and delete this eyeball, the original one, and let's go ahead and combine or connect the the new eye bone to the old eye stalk. Control P, connected. There we go, and you can see it's it really rotated the uh, the eye stalk bone crazily. So a way to fix that is let's go ahead and grab that and let's go to the constraints armature constraints. Let's go ahead and kill that IK chain there. We'll put it back on there in a few seconds. But let's let's get this uh, rotated to where to where these uh, segments line up properly. Let's go into edit mode. Control R will get your, your rotate bone thing going up. And uh, I'm going to hit 180 on my numpad just to see if that's the right one. Hit enter. Tab back. And that was perfectly the right one. So now I can grab that and then that. Control Shift C brings up the add constraints and 2.49 it was Alt Control C but now Alt Control C clears out a constraint whereas Shift Control C adds constraints. So we want to actually we're not adding a, uh, a regular constraint or, or modifier we're going to add a, a inverse max. Shift I adds IK to active bone, boom, pops it right next to it, so we got to change the chain link. So, there we go. It's pointing at the very bottom of it. So, you know what, let's go into edit mode, and let's rotate. We don't want to rotate. Uh, let's, let's, a little trick here you can do. Shift S, grab the tip of that bone, Shift S, uh, cursor to selected. Now grab this one, Shift S, selected a cursor, and it looks like it disappeared, but it didn't. It just it's lined up perfectly with the bottom. The top is like on the exact same plane as the bottom, so you're not going to see it because it's flat. If we rotated the scene around, we could see it, but don't want to do that. Just hit G on your num on your keyboard, and then Y, and you can move it out. It moves along the G, or along your Y axis. So 
So now let's grab that and alt S, scale it up some. So now he's looking directly at the center of that. Okay. Neato. Okay. Let's keep going with the edits of the combination here. Uh, you might not. You might notice that there's a lack of the stretch two bones. That's because they're in another layer, and that's going to be right here on this object data. It's going to be on layer two. Boom. There they are. Now let's get everything lined up. The eyelids are for the, for the most part fairly well lined up. Let, let's let's go ahead and line those up a little bit better. Oh. Undo, 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 undo. Got to go back. Got to make sure, since we got these stretch two bones on here, it's all one loop. It's not mirrored. We got to turn off this x-axis mirror. And it's going to screw us up. So, if you did like I did, just undo until you to get it right back to where it was. Now just select all these corners. And reposition these this is the way it needs to go. Move the missing here. There we go. And okay, now let's do it right here. Oops, let's just grab one of them. Move that. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Move that. And this one. Oops. Okay. This one and this one. Let's move those over there. And grab this one. Move it down. Problem with. Uh, Turning off that excess axis mirror is these aren't going to be lined up exactly correct. But they'll be close enough. And one thing you'll notice when you go back into pose mode is your stretch two bones are all screwed up. So the way we gotta fix that is we select each individual one and we go over to the bone constraints and we need to reset the length. Select all those and reset the length, and it'll pop them right back to where they need to go. There. Now, grab one of those. Boom. And one thing I failed to do in this facial rig tutorial, uh, which you might have read in the comments, someone mentioned it. Uh, you got to make each of these stretch two bones uh, what 2.49 called a hinge bone. But uh, 2.5 is now just saying inherit the rotation of the parent bone. So we need to turn that off on all of these guys. Just turn it off. Just uncheck that little box there. We'll need to do this again on the mouth as soon as we get down there. Okay, so now when you stretch one, it's not going to make all the other ones go crazy like it was doing before. So makes things a lot easier. Okay. Um, also, let me do this real quick on edit mode, and let's grab, let's turn off that second layer. We don't need to see it anymore. Let's grab all of these guys. Grab those, and we don't need that one. And let's grab the eyeball bone last. Control P. Keep the offset. So all these eyelids are going to follow the eyeballs rotation. So, there we go. However, if we want to make them blink, remember we had that uh, uh, limit distance to where the eye, well, well, we'll need to apply the mesh to the, the new parts of the skeleton as well. But um, uh, they had, we had the uh, limit distance on the, on the uh, eyelid bones here. And you can see it's still on there, but it's way, it's not where it needs to be. So first of all, we need to get uh, go into edit mode, and we need to grab the tip of the eyeball bone, and let's move it back to where it's even. Let's make sure we're perfectly aligned on the y-axis, even with the edge of the eyeball. So there we go. And uh, I guess we'll need to reposition the eyeball since we moved that bone. Shift S, uh, cursor to selection, and grab that. Shift S, selection to selected to cursor. So there we go. So now, we'll move that around. Uh, we will need to reset its length also. So, reset distance right there. So now when we move it, it's right where it needs to be. So, we got to do that on all these. The reason we have to reset all these distances is because if you noticed, 
when I opened this rig, or when I pinned it and uh, added it to the scene, it was a lot bigger than it needed to be. So when I scaled it down, it didn't uh, automatically scale all these distances for the uh, for these location constraints and the uh, stretch to constraints. So though, anyways, so there we go. Got all the eyeball set. Let's go ahead and save this. Already renamed one earlier, so save as. Oops, gotta make sure you say yes. Save as. Yes, since I already wrote, I was writing over one, so I had to say yes, I wanna save over that one, so, okay. There's a siren going in the background. Somebody's having a bad day. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do the mouth now. Uh, make sure we turn on the second layer so we can get these stretch two bones on here. Top of the mouth, let's grab that. And let's grab the bottom of the mouth. I can't see it either. No, your, your monitor's not dark. There's, yeah, it's, it's dark right there. I couldn't see that. I just knew there was one there. So I just selected the ones. I, anyways, I knew what you were thinking. Let's move that up. Go ahead and grab this guy and move him up to where he needs to be. So I don't hit the mouth on accident. Okay. Oops. Back to side view. Grab the jaw, move it up to where it needs to go. Okay, almost there. Just hold on. We're just about done. Just move that. Just line everything back up. Same way we did on the on the uh, the eyelids. We'll be good to go. Oops, don't need that one. There we go. Okay. That's all where it needs to go. Pop back into pose mode, and you can see the stretch two bones for the lips are doing the same thing that they were doing on the eyelids. So that's easy to fix now that we know why. Just reset, and reset, reset, reset. Same, same, and again. Okay, so now I think I also failed to turn on the hinge on these, on the mouth as well, so let's do that here, right there. You gotta select the uh, the bone button there, and here rotation, yep, you gotta turn that all off. Boom, boom. Okay, so now we've got our mouth the way we need it, the plate location we need it, however, uh, it's not connected to the head, the eyeball is, because I connected the eyeball bone to the stock bone. But uh, let's go ahead and edit mode, and let's uh, turn off that second layer again. And let's uh, select all of these guys, and then select the head bone last, control P, keep the offset, and there we go. So now, move the head around, the mouth is going to follow. Okay, we need to make sure that these... Bottom bones are connected to the jawbone. There we go. Mouth bones connected to the jawbone. Uh, maybe we don't need this one here on the jawbone. That would make for very weird deformations when he closes his mouth. So let's just uh, print that back to the head. So there. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and save again. Save often, my computer teacher used to tell me. And uh, we're going to apply this. Uh, this new uh, modified rig to the to the uh, the mesh again, but if we do it just out of the box like so, uh, we'll have two armatures on there. We don't want that, so let's go ahead and get rid of that first one, and uh, go ahead and grab that. Control P with automatic weights again, and there we go. So now move it around, awesome, and move his mouth around, awesome. Everything should be the way it needs to be. Okay. So that's uh, that's it in a nutshell. That's how you combine uh, another an old rig into a new rig. Might need some modifications on this one because it's, it's wanting to go through his eyeball itself. But uh, anyways, that's how you do that. So I will stop wasting your time. Let's go 
clear all these out. Actually, I don't want to clear the regular pose out, just the facial pose. Let's grab all this. Alt G, Alt R, and there we go. Okay. So now you're looking at what we started with, except now he has a facial rig also. Let's go ahead and save this, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.